A very good Tuesday morning to you. You are watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday only on Y in the morning on Y254 channel. I hope you did catch that interview with Juan Barimoy and DJ Jomba. And I guess all of you now know that your art can also make you some money. Anyway, with us in studio, if you do want to participate in the conversation, our handles are at hashtag Y in the morning on Twitter at Y254 channel. And on Facebook, we're at Y254. And on, fa on YouTube, we're at Y254 channel. Just in case you missed any of the valuable insight here on instagram we're at y254 underscore channel and today in studio with me i have a couple that's going to let us know how to make love and money work they are the founders martial arts they are the founders of mashule app i have one maria nyambani waweru and nahashon gogi waweru together they are the wawerus and i will allow them to say good morning to you good morning this is maria Nyambane Waweru, the founder of Masha Arts, Masha Arts the Young Magazine, the author of Love the Original You, and the director of Mashule Application. Good morning. I'm Waweru Nahashon Demesta. I'm the co founder of Mashule, Ma the Mashule, the developer and the co founder, mm -hmm. the co founder of Masha Arts Company. Okay, in case you're wondering what Mashule is all about, they're going to let us know how they learned and how they decided to create a business out of digitizing education. How do you find the perfect school on your palm just easily in real time? They'll let us know in a quite a minute. However, I'd like them to first let us know as a couple, why the interest? Why did you endeavor in this journey? Mashule up. What is Mashule up? In case someone at home is wondering. Okay, I'll say my name is, my middle name is Cupid. I call myself that. Mm -hmm. Because I realized that for you to be with someone, you must have one thing in common. Mm -hmm. And I have issues with trusting people. So I have to find something that can make us argue on the same level. Mm -hmm. When we started Mashule up, mm -hmm. we realized that we can work together, mm -hmm. live together, mm -hmm. and be together. Mm -hmm. And that's how we became a couple mm -hmm. and still became business partners. Mm -hmm. It's actually, it's the easiest thing I can say mm -hmm. that has made our marriage look so beautiful and easy mm -hmm. to handle. Even the ch when challenges come, mm -hmm. when you're mad at each other, you'll realize that at the end of the day, you need to contact a school and you have to discuss that first. So. <laughs> Let's hold the grudge uh -huh. and do something. So working together has made even the marriage look interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So why is it that you decided that we needed an app where, where parents can easily find schools rather than going to look for the place physically or online? What, what gap did you identify in the market that you saw? I, okay, no, 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 no. We need to be able to find the perfect school for our child in real time. Uh, I've been in teaching industry. Mm -hmm. I was in teaching industry for about seven years mm -hmm. before I decided to quit and go to ICT mm -hmm. completely. Mm -hmm. So, and as a teacher of both primary school and high school, I realized that most of the parents were relying on information from other parents or the information from teachers mm -hmm. to know about a certain school. Mm -hmm. If you want, a, you want to take your kid to a kindergarten, mm -hmm. a standard one or a form one, mm -hmm. you have to inquire from other parents mm -hmm. or you have to hover from one place to one place looking for school. Mm -hmm. So, when the idea of Mashuri app came, mm -hmm. the idea of how can we digitize this activity? Mm -hmm. That's why we came up with formation of Mashure app. Mm -hmm. And also considering that we have a magazine, mm -hmm. considering that we have a kids magazine called The Young, mm -hmm. which features schools, which mm -hmm. features the activities of kids in schools, mm -hmm. we realized that most of these kids have turned up to the ICT, have turned up to, have turned up to technology. Mm -hmm. And this has forced us to realize that as far as it is concerned, mm -hmm. there is the reading culture, which yes. you have to bring it back to the society. The reading culture. The reading culture. Mm -hmm. That's why we have even the digital magazine, which is free in mm -hmm. the mobile application. Mm -hmm. So instead of your kid spending 100% of his time in social media, mm -hmm. he can have at least some little bit of time mm -hmm. reading the magazine mm -hmm. in the mobile application. Mm -hmm. Rather than the magazine, we even have the test papers mm -hmm. in the magazine. Mm -hmm. We have, a, a, I mean, the test papers in the mobile app. We have even other product in the same mobile application. Wait, the mobile app has test papers? Yes. Wow. It mm -hmm. has the new curriculum mm -hmm. in PDF. You mm -hmm. read more about the new curriculum in PDF. Mm -hmm. So it's a one-stop shop for academic sector. Mm -hmm. Yes. Interesting. I'd like to understand from Maria. You're also an author. Love, the, love you. Love, love the original you. Love the original you. What inspired this book? In fact, let me just hold it up just in case. Just give Mashule up a little break, Kidogo, so that we can highlight uh, <laughs> one Maria over here who is also a child trainer. Well, she has a book called Love the Original You. And I'd like to understand, eh? What was the idea behind this book? Just before we continue. The idea behind the book, okay, the book generally talks about self-esteem. Mm -hmm. 
I have worked with kids all my life. I'll say when I was a kid, I was still working with kids. Mm -hmm. And growing up, mm -hmm. I realized that there's a niche that needs to be covered. Okay, we have everything for the youth, for mm -hmm. women. Kwanza chama chwa mama, there are too many. Mm -hmm. For men, we have all those things. <laughs> uh -huh. But we don't have one thing for the kids. Mm -hmm. And if you look at our generation right now, mm -hmm. things are changing. Our mm -hmm. kids are not... The same way I will raise my child is not the same way I was raised. Mm -hmm. There were grounds that was, were put in me that mm -hmm. are not going to be put in some other kids. Mm -hmm. So growing up, I realized that people are getting lost. Mm -hmm. And of late, I think all everyone in the media will testify with me that suicide rates have gone high. Mm -hmm. So I realized that self-esteem is an issue that needs to be talked about. Mm -hmm. And having suffer, I have suffered from, fr from self-esteem at a point issue in my no life. self-esteem. Yeah, mm -hmm. at a point in my life, I suffered from that. Mm -hmm. And I realized that there's... That is the one thing that people have not addressed so much. Mm -hmm. So I, dec I decided, let me do a book mm -hmm. that will help the teenagers, the young people, and the youth mm -hmm. so that they can at least understand more about themselves. Mm -hmm. So Love the Original is basically a bit of my story mm -hmm. with a lot of generational changes that are coming in mm -hmm. and more on self-esteem, mm -hmm. more on uh, ways on of handling self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So if anyone, for anyone who has read the book will tell you mm -hmm. that when you read this book, mm -hmm. you don't read it because... The, you know, their chapters, their pages, everything is interesting in it. But the only interesting thing about this book mm -hmm. is the fact that you get to understand yourself. Because okay. I have covered all types of personalities in the book. All types of personalities? All types of personalities in the book. Ah, I had to do a research. Uh -huh. All those. I had, to, <laughs> I had to do a huge research so that I can at least cover everyone mm -hmm. who, has, who has issues. And then, you know, I've worked with kids. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for me to understand. Like, mm -hmm. I, like when you go to teach kids, mm -hmm. you realize that they are different kids. They're raised differently. Mm -hmm. So you have to at least under, try to understand those kids mm -hmm. while they're growing up. Mm -hmm. And having to work, like the, starting the young magazine, mm -hmm. was I started the magazine because I wanted to deal with kids. Mm -hmm. So writing the book was also because I wanted to get to kids. Mm -hmm. So my entire life is based on the young people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. The reason why I wanted you guys to talk about your books is also that everybody at home can know that the founders of Mashule app are parents themselves. They are people who are passionate about children. So you can trust them. They started this in the year 2015. Am I wrong? Yes. Yes. So what can you say as some, uh, uh, in hindsight, now that you're the CEOs and you've been the CEOs for a minute now, in hindsight, what is it that you wish that, that you know now that you wish you knew then? One thing I've realized, I wish I could have that that was facing the challenges. Mm -hmm. I think in the development of the mobile application, mm -hmm. in the development of the magazine, eh, mm -hmm. and in the publication of this book, mm -hmm. because she has written about 15 books, eh, mm -hmm. but it became so difficult because I was reading all the manuscript. Mm -hmm. But when I read this specific one, mm -hmm. I had to force it to be published. Mm -hmm. Indeed, the publication was done within a few weeks. I have to get people to write the forward, mm -hmm. people to reread the book again, mm -hmm. to correct the book for it to be published. Mm -hmm. you know, so I realized that there is that aspect of you can do it. Mm -hmm. If I had that, if we had that, you know, attitude mm -hmm. back in 2015, mm -hmm. I think could we could have be having, a, we could be being a, a notch higher mm -hmm. than where we are. But uh, as always we say, God's time is the best time. Yes. And also a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. Mm -hmm. So every day you tend to learn something new. Mm -hmm. And two, I've realized that we have a lot of a lot of challenges in the education sector, uh -huh. especially in schools. Mm -hmm. And if I knew this mm -hmm. at that time when we were starting, mm -hmm. we could have known how to approach these things and on which side to serve them from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. What about you, Maria? Do you have anything you can add on to that? Yeah. I wish I knew that things are not easy. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was starting, I thought like, okay, I'll just go to someone, I'll talk, and then everything will be easy. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll just talk. <laughs> I'll just go talk, <laughs> things will be easy. Mm -hmm. And I'm a, I'm, I'm a talkative person, by the way, so I knew I'd work in a school, mm -hmm. ask, them what, ask them what I need, mm -hmm. and they'll say yes and everything. But I wish they, someone told me mm -hmm. things were not so easy. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that I'm glad I never did was giving up. Mm -hmm. Another thing I wish I knew mm -hmm. is that I wish I understood people more. Mm -hmm. I am I'm not so social. I don't know how to interact so well. So I wish I had learned how to interact with people mm -hmm. before I started all this. Okay. Another thing now, the biggest one, mm -hmm. is that I wish I knew how to tr how people can, how you can win trust. How you can win people's trust. T yeah, hmm. because that has been the biggest, mm -hmm. the biggest challenge that I've faced so far. Mm -hmm. That is the one thing that I'll tell people that even when you're starting something, mm -hmm. if it's new, you have to walk that journey. You have to walk the journey. You have to walk the journey. It's not easy, it's hard. Okay, interesting. Now that you have finally achieved it and there it is, Mashule app is up and running. Can you take us through the process in which when once I get the app and I click on it, what do I do next? 
and I've downloaded it, for example, what do I do next? As a, I can say as a developer, mm -hmm. as a, the main developer or the sole developer of the application, mm -hmm. supported by her, when we come to business, mm -hmm. she's the boss. Mm -hmm. When we come to family, I'm the boss. You know? so okay. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's my director. Uh -huh. I'm the operations manager. Mm -hmm. So in short, what I, wh we've, one thing which derives you to have the app is the need. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Mm -hmm. If you want to get materials for school, mm -hmm. if you want to look for uniform, mm -hmm. if you want to look for school, if mm -hmm. you want to read the magazine, mm -hmm. if you want to know about curriculum, so there is the need. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to start from the first point. Mm -hmm. You have downloaded your app from Google Play Store. Mm -hmm. And I think in the name... But the latest next week will also be in the Apple Store. You'll mm -hmm. be able to download the app from there also. Actually, we've downloaded it on a Mac, so I'm guessing it's there. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. yes. Apple think. already. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, w if, if you need, mm -hmm. I like once you download the app, eh, mm -hmm. and the app is very small in terms of memory. Mm -hmm. I think about nine MB. So mm -hmm. it's economically, it's bad or, you know, mm -hmm. bad or zako, mm -hmm. it's uh, consider it. Mm -hmm. So once you download the app, if you want to look for a school. Wait, how many bundles did you say? I think it's about 9 MB. 9 MB app. only? Wow. Yeah, just yeah. 9 MB. That's easy on the So phone, once yeah. you download it, mm -hmm. you are home and dry. Mm -hmm. The app doesn't require you to register anything. Mm -hmm. It doesn't require your email. Mm -hmm. It doesn't require your contact. Mm -hmm. As a programmer and as a person in ICT security, mm -hmm. my career background is totally in ICT, computer science and security. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, we have ensured that we don't want to take any of your details. Mm -hmm. Most of the mobile applications, you realize that you are taking either your emails, your contacts, mm -hmm. your ID number, mm -hmm. and then it becomes very tricky for you. It becomes very tricky for you to start receiving images, to start talking of cybercrime. Yes. So we have ensured that that is not the case in our mobile application. Okay, so the security. The security. Security aspect is 100%. Mm -hmm. That's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So what we have ensured that once you download the app, uh -huh. the first page you get is search. Mm -hmm. FIDA school. Find so a school. Find a school. Mm -hmm. We have three schools mm -hmm. in that place. That's mm -hmm. what we call the prime space of the app. Mm -hmm. So if you want your school to be up to appear in those in that page, eh, mm -hmm. that's the prime space. You have to pay a little bit higher. Indeed, we are calling it as token mm -hmm. because it's very cheap. Mm -hmm. Because we are only paying ten thousand more than other schools, which are only paying twenty thousand for a whole year. Yes, because mm -hmm. I'm seeing. I was actually yes. going to ask you. I've seen you also have a fee for the schools that want to be featured. I can see yes. Brookhurst, Brookhurst International. Yes, we have yeah. Brookhurst. We have Pisiatan oh. Academy. Uh huh. We have Tedaki Academy, mm -hmm. we have Sokimao. Mm -hmm. These are some of the schools huh, mm -hmm. we have interacted with, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to the magazine. Mm -hmm. the, we have interacted with these, so we are partners oh, with them. Uh -huh. So they have gone a step higher mm -hmm. to realize our business and what we are doing. Okay. And to adopt, these schools have really adopted technology mm -hmm. as they are running, as they are running module. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the new curriculum, mm -hmm. computer science is somewhere mm -hmm. in the upper secondary. Mm -hmm. And computing is starting even at the lower level. Uh -huh. And considering that everybody has a phone, so you have to go, even if you have a student in school, you have to ensure that technology has been taken care of. Yes. Yeah, because of moderation and discipline part of it. Okay. So once you download the app, mm -hmm. you go to the first page uh -huh. where you meet the search. Uh -huh. So you get Find a Perfect School. Find a Perfect School. Yes, Find mm -hmm. a Perfect School. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? Mm -hmm. So for example, if you are looking for a, a school, maybe mm -hmm. I can just give an example of a school we have in the mobile application. Uh -huh. If, for example, we have a school like... Fred School Kamusinka. Mm -hmm. Indeed, you have all type of schools. Mm -hmm. Kindergarten, primary, and secondary. High school. Yeah, and high schools oh, you yes, have. Yes. So if you are looking for a school like Fred School Kamusinka, mm -hmm. wherever, uh, for, uh, that place where it's written, find a perfect school, mm -hmm. you just write Oh, school. oh, you need to put the mic yes. next to your mouth. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. you write Fred School Kamusinka, uh -huh. then you search. Uh -huh. So it will give you the option of that school. Mm -hmm. so, so the option will appear somewhere down. Mm -hmm. Then you'll click that school. Mm -hmm. Once you click that school, it will bring you to this page now. Uh -huh. You'll read about the school, about the, the location school. of the school, mm -hmm. and the events. Mm -hmm. For public secondary schools, it's absolutely free. Wow. So okay. we want to ensure that by the end of this week, we have the about 8,000 schools in the application. For all the parents taking students to Form 1, mm -hmm. you don't know the location of the schools from the app. You won't have to start. This is quite timely, considering mm -hmm. it's January. Yeah. <laughs> People are going back to school. It's the back to school you season. Yeah, you won't uh -huh. have to struggle for anyway, that. Anyway. Mm -hmm. For the other schools, for the private schools. Uh -huh. eh? So we, once you get to this page, eh, yes. you'll do about the school. Yes. Then you get to the location of the school, the exact location up to the estate. Mm -hmm. We have ensured that this... <laughs> up to the estate. Up to the estate. <laughs> the uh -huh. tiniest detail you want. Uh -huh. We have ensured that this is correlated with the Google Maps. Mm -hmm. So if the, the school has not been mapped in the Google Apps, mm -hmm. we'll map it for you. So okay. you don't have to say that my school is not in the Google app. 
just that us where your school is. So you you'll be able to, to trace the location yes, and know if it's the it. kind of location that you would like your yes. child to be in. Interesting. Yes. Uh -huh. So from there, mm -hmm. and if you want to get a school, if you mm -hmm. want to know all the schools, for example, in Umoja Estate in Nairobi. Yes. So you go to wherever, the first page we were, you mm -hmm. just write the name Umoja. Okay. They'll give you all the schools in mm -hmm. Umoja Estate. Mm -hmm. So when you come back to a page eh, mm -hmm. about a school, uh -huh. you know the location of the school. Uh -huh. So in that location, mm -hmm. I think now you are settled. Yes. You can be able to go there now. Yes. So another feature we have added is that since it's uh, since it's it's together with Google Google, sorry, it's together with the Google, Google Maps. Maps. Yeah, you can be able to trace the direction indeed from wherever you are. I've seen you can go there are the also school. other things that yes. uh, that, uh, that that happen after I know the location of the school. Yes, after I you can know see the uh, curriculum. Yes, after you know about the location of the school, uh -huh. then you have another page for events. Oh, this uh -huh. now looks like a notice board for that individual school. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can know the time dates, uh -huh. the crossing day, the opening day, the exams, the parents' day. All the events you have in your school mm -hmm. can be mapped to the application. Okay. Indeed, you are the one who is sending this information. Yes. And it's very simple. Once we send a contract with you mm -hmm. at the beginning of the, once we send the contract, mm -hmm. for a full whole year, mm -hmm. your work it will be just to sit down, send in the information, we do the work for you. Oh. So it's... It's just very easy even very to understand easy. and navigate through very the app. Easy. Yes. Okay. So once we have the templates there, mm -hmm. you don't have to be cramming. If you have three, still three kids yes. in your home in three different schools, oh. why should you have three apps? Wait. So mm. even after I find a school for my child, I can I can also check the events that are happening. Yes. I can follow up. Yes. Ah, very interesting. Anyway, we need to wind this segment yeah. up. Uh, so mm -hmm. from there, mm -hmm. you can get the events. Mm -hmm. And once you get the events, I think uh, other things from the app. We have the places for resources. Mm -hmm. You can get the magazine. Mm -hmm. As you can see from here, you have the second edition of the Young Magazine. Mm -hmm. Indeed, if you go to the, if you download the app now as you are speaking, mm -hmm. you realize that you even have the first edition. Uh -huh. But in the next few minutes, uh -huh. one of our uh, programmers is working on having the new curriculum in the app in mm -hmm. the next about one hour. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to know about the new curriculum from so the So this app. app is not only going to help me find a school. It's going to help me also keep up with my, with the events that are happening in yes. that school, with yes. the curriculum, with the magazines. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. very interesting. All in one. All in one it's, together. It's, it's, it's an education stakeholder system where you have tried to have as much as we can. Quick and easy at the yes. palm of my hands in yes. real time, wherever yes. I am, I can yes. see it. Wow. The young people in this country are really doing a number. Yeah? So finally, it's still in the application. If mm -hmm. you have a bookshop, mm -hmm. talk to us. Mm -hmm. We have a bookshop in the application. Mm -hmm. Some of the schools have, have to get uniforms from a specific supplier. Yes. So we go to that supplier. Mm -hmm. We have the information of that, that supplier in the app. We have a page for dual side coupons. Okay. So if you are a parent, you know about the school. Mm -hmm. You know about the curriculum. Mm -hmm. You know about the test papers. Mm -hmm. And you know how to get the uniform and books. Oh, yeah. interesting. All in one. All in Wow. You know, I'm so surprised because uh, when we were told to go digital, I didn't expect this but now i'm seeing this is going to another level kenyans are really doing it you could be the next tempesta billionaires <laughs> you never know with mashule app anyway thank you guys so much for coming it's about time we conclude this segment but i'd like to hear from you maria any parting shots would you have any parting shots with regards to the app because uh Nahashon has exhausted a very very deep explanation very deep on how explanation. to use the app <laughs> Okay, the only thing i'll tell people mm -hmm. actually the school owners mm -hmm. i would like to tell them to download to download it and also call us mm -hmm. text us go to our website go to our facebook page the young mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. instagram page the young mm -hmm. it's as simple as that you ca to contact us so that your, sc your school can be featured yes because it's easier for you to get parents to know you once yeah. you're featured in the app yeah another thing is for the parents mm -hmm. download the app mm -hmm. And those who, you know, I've told people to download and they tell me, you know, I don't have a kid. Mm -hmm. My kids are already in school. People mm -hmm. have excuses. Mm -hmm. But you may help someone else who doesn't know technology. Okay. Because there are old people out there who can't do that. Yes. You can help someone. So I'll tell them, please do it. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. You have been talking to the Wawerus, the founders of Mashule App, authors themselves of the young and love the original you. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming to studio today. It's about time we conclude this segment. I am Hilda Wadidi. The DJ is coming back. Please don't go anywhere. It's Entrepreneurship Tuesday here on Why in the Morning on Y254 channel. My name is Hilda Wadidi. <laughs>